on this episode, we're hightailing it to the Gold Coast before COVID shuts down borders. A 24 hour sail, so get your night vision ready. The head sail is up. Over to the port side is the glorious Gold Coast. We're also dodging surfers at the spit before Australian authorities catch up with us at Boatworks. It's the biggest shipyard in the Southern Hemisphere. Let's go. I'm Christina and this is John. Together we just packed up our lives. Christina Castellos joins me now. Put our careers on hold to sail around Australia. Oh, in our new up. home, Takana, a 50 foot Genoa Sun Odyssey. I'm feeling really unco. Our dream is to sail Takana all the way to the Great Barrier Reef in North Queensland. We've so far managed to sail her from Melbourne to Coffs Harbour, a hip, surfy seaside town home to the big banana but now it's time to say bye coughs as we attempt to make our way further north right now sailing from new south wales to its neighboring state queensland which is where we're going is prohibited due to covid lockdowns you see borders are still closed but we got extremely lucky as you'll soon find out, our successful journey to the Gold Coast came down to two things, timing and good luck. The sail from Coffs Harbour to the Gold Coast is 150 nautical miles. It's a 24 hour sail. So we'll be sailing overnight. We've alerted authorities of our arrival and have a small window to cross the border. Here we are, we're about an hour in, finally found some wind and got all the sails up. We've got 10 knots of true wind and we're doing 6.8 through the water. Just as we found the wind, it disappeared on us. We weren't able to put the sail up for about an hour. I swear we are a sail boat. We are a sailing boat and we will sail. Turning on the engine hurts our soul. Well, obviously we're on this deadline, so for now we're just going to have to rig a different line. Yeah. That's pretty good, hey? So growing up, I actually lived um, on a lake. I used to go fishing all the time as a kid, uh, but we used to catch brim that were, you know, 20, 30 centimetres. But we are keen to hook a tuna with our brand new fishing rod. John got one for me for my birthday. But there's just one problem. I have never ever tied a lure on this big before. We've downloaded a Knots app on my phone and I'm gonna try and learn the ropes. If you guys have any recommendations, please write them in the comments below. There were just so many knots to choose from. It was really overwhelming. I just have a question. You gonna try and catch a marlin? <laughs> I ended up calling my brother while we still had phone reception. Send me a photo of it and I'll have a look quickly. Okay, all right, thanks. All right, Bye. We went with the cat's paw knot. I'm not sure if that's a good one or not. Where do you think I cut it, here? Yeah, you wanna leave quite a bit on it. We had to tie the leader to the trace and then clipped on the lure to the trace. The moment of truth. I literally don't know what we're gonna do if we actually catch a fish. Freaking out. <laughs> Maybe a tad dramatic, not sure. But as you guys know, John also found some problems with our steering cables back in Coffs Harbour. Before we go to sleep tonight, John is just checking steering cables. They're frayed and we're concerned they could snap at any time if under load. So we've ordered new cables to be installed on the Gold Coast when we get there. It's all fine. It all looks good? No, nothing's moved at all. Looks oh, that's good. good. It actually looks really solid. Yeah. You sleep well tonight? Slightly better.
when I woke, the engine was off and we had wind. Finally, some silence. What an amazing feeling. The head sail is up. Over to the port side is the glorious Gold Coast and its dazzling lights. Wow, it feels good to be here. And over to the right, just as I look over, the moon is rising. A slither of hope that where we are right now is where we're meant to be. It's about 4.30 in the morning and we're doing about six knots there. You can see um, we should be arriving uh, to the spit at around 6 a.m. in the morning. The wind's coming from the southwest there and the apparent wind is about 12 knots. But it feels to be here in Queensland. It feels toasty and warm. Is that that's um, okay to cross in? We were arriving on slack tide, which on this day just happened to coincide with first light. We were approaching the Gold Coast spit with caution, giving it the respect it deserved. At this stage, John and I only have a few weeks sailing experience and we're a little nervous as we've seen some pretty scary scenes unfold here recently. So this area can be quite treacherous sometimes, hey? The waves can be crashing. The day before someone posted this photo on Facebook, warning other boaties. You know that photo that you showed me yesterday? Was that just People here? People walking along the seawall. Yeah, that was just here. That photo was just taken here? Yeah. There you go. It seems it was wild one day and calm the next for us. As we passed the VMR tower, we alerted marine rescue volunteers of our arrival. Thank you. Thank you. But we weren't off the hook just yet. There's a lot of traffic. We've got to look out also for surfers and other boats. So over here on the right, this is where all the surfers usually hang out. To get there, they swim across the seaway even at this time of the morning. What the jet ski was doing so close to the boat. I would have thrown straight over here. That is actually crazy, hey. When you enter the Broadwater, you have to have your wits about you. Wow. Babe, you did good. There are a hundred and Waypoint. We're heading to the largest shipyard in the Southern Hemisphere to get our steering cables replaced. The facility is called Boatworks. But to get there, you have to carefully navigate your way through these shallow waters. There wasn't much wriggle room under the keel. Point eight of a metre. Whoa. Particularly if your draft is 2.2 metres like ours. Little room for error. Try not to end up on we had breakfast with a view, admiring the beauty of what looked like Millionaire's Row. Holy moly, did you see this house? Or mansion? Yeah. You'll be blown away by some of the homes in there. After 24 hours, we were so close to finally setting our feet on Queensland soil. This is how tired I am. I literally just tried to do this, like, <laughs> with, a, with a map. Literally try, just tried to zoom in. That is like stealth. It's like the Batmobile. God, I stress out about parking these things. Imagine parking those. 
Oh my gosh, can you imagine? It was hard to believe that we actually made it, but just as we left the boat, the phone rang. So we just had a call from Boatworks and they've told us that Maritime Safety Queensland have showed up. They're looking for a little Greek lady. <laughs> <laughs> About yay high. Um, chasing up your little vessel of yours, I came into um, Cooper River today. Yeah. I, to I even told them that we'd be at the boatworks. Yeah, they're waiting for us. So it just goes to show that they're checking pretty much every single person that comes through into the state. Maybe. From New South Wales. John's a bit nervous. No, I'm not. Sorry about the huge cliffhanger, guys. I just wanted to pop in here really quickly and just say thank you so much for your support. Um, obviously, we don't have a Patreon account or anything like that, but it would absolutely mean the world if you could do something for free for us, and that is to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and send us through your comments if there are any questions that you have about our lifestyle or what you want to see up next. Yeah, write some comments below and we'll make sure we answer your questions in our upcoming videos. So we love putting our videos out every single week and your support will allow us to grow and hopefully get better gear and take you on more crazy adventures. In the meantime, have an amazing week and make sure you don't miss next week's episode. So when you hit the subscribe button, click that little bell next to it and you'll get alerts every time we upload a video. All right. See you next week and bye for now.